Hello, I'm Noemi Munoz and I'm here to talk about my CTE class, Video Production. Video Production is an elective in Aptos High School where we learn about the basics of what a career in the video production industry would do. This consists of learning the procedures of pre-production, production, and post-production. Let's first start with pre-production. Pre-production is basically the foundation of a film. This includes writing the script, creating a shot list, and drawing a storyboard. Script writing is where you start planning out the story or direction of where the film will go. This is also the place where you write the dialogue of your characters and the setting of your story. The website I used to write my script was Celtix, which has a good setup for you to easily organize your script. Next step is to create a shot list. A shot list is where you write what camera shots you will use when filming. I use Google Sheets since the column setting is really helpful to organize your camera shot notes. And finally, drawing a storyboard. A storyboard is useful to remember what you visualize during your time working on the pre-production so that during production you can film exactly as you want it. Production is where you start filming your movie. In a case if you're making an indie movie, you have to direct the actors and the crew on what they have to do, film and set the scenes. Since my projects are low budget, I suggest using your iPhone since it's likely to have good focus and visuals. The only downside of that method is that the audio may not be the best, but I'll explain a way to fix that in post-production. Post-production is where you put together and finalize your clips from production. I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro as a reference since that is the app that I have to use in class. Here you can import your clips and then put them in the order that you want it. You can also use transitions and visual effects. There's also the option to adjust the audio of your clips to keep it constant throughout the movie. You can also import audio clips as well. Those audio clips can consist of sound effects, soundtrack, and voiceovers. Hello! If you're a low budget like me, some free websites can help get you some free audios. For sound effects, I suggest going to freesound.org and Zapsplash. As for music, Royalty Free Music aka Ben Sound is the best option. If you have lots of time in your hands and can't find a perfect soundtrack that fits your movie, then I suggest using GarageBand to make your own music. However, if there's a soundtrack that you want to use but you will have to purchase it, you can just record the audio on GarageBand in a quiet place. I also use this method to do voiceovers of the dialogues in my film when the audio on the clips doesn't sound good. And that is the main premise of this class. Of course I have done and learned so many other things but there wouldn't be enough time to cover them. I hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.